Yeah, what's up, people? Good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Yeah, yo, man, y'all hear what's going on out there right now? I hope y'all hear what's going on. Check it out. Your boy Alpo, R.I.P. If it's so, I always say R.I.P. I know people be having like a lot of wild things going on in their life and being that they do, people like to judge people and put them in a certain box and put them, may, label them a bad person and, and there's a lot of foul things people did in their life. You know, a lot of people did a lot of foul things in their life. So what I do now, if somebody passed away or something like, you know, it, it's always pretty much that's it like you can say r.i.p bro even if they did a lot of bad things you know what i'm saying so don't worry about that uh what i want to talk to y'all about they saying the person that off the outpo that killed them got acquitted got acquitted that raised a lot of questions man you don't because they saying there's a lot of uh People saying uh, if he's even really deceased is like, it's weird. It's crazy, man. You know, then they got people uh, saying, how would he, this, the, 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 the killer get acquitted? And nobody talking about nothing. There's no videotapes. There's no footage. They're saying the footage. They're saying that uh, the, the vehicle that son was in was high. So I'm, I'm, we trying to find out if the video, if, 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 if the vehicle that Alpo was in was on the high, was high up. They say the shots don't look like that. It don't look like it was coming from a lower angle shooting up. They saying it's come like somebody was shooting down. It's crazy, man. It make it raises the question because it starts to make me believe that. With certain people, they just, they orchestrate how your ending is going to play out. Like, yeah, this guy, if he's a piece of crap, we're going to give him a, we're going to give him a, uh, no witnesses found. Uh, no one in custody. Give him somebody got arrested, but got a, give him somebody did get arrested, but get acquitted. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is, what's going on with that? Is that a new thing that's going on out here? People could lose their lives and they could set it up to where no one cares? Like, it's bad out here, man. It's bad out here. No witnesses. No nothing. All these cameras, they catch... They catch everything on camera everywhere else, bro. This is in Harlem. Cameras on every corner. <sighs> no footage. They show footage of a of a of a man and a well, it was supposed to be two men pushing a shopping cart with body parts in it. These are no-name people, not celebrities or not well-known drug kingpins or anything like that. Guess what? They got them walking down the block on every block. We got video footage of everything. <clears throat> now you in Harlem, and you ain't got no footage on nothing? No footage on nothing. Nobody seen nothing. No camera caught nothing. Nothing. I don't get it. Something ain't adding up. Something's wrong here. So now I think it's safe to say they're orchestrating people's demise. They're letting it be known that we're going to let it be somebody who never got caught. Somebody got punished just to tell you. Whatever to tell you to satisfy you in that certain way. 
Cause you hear something, you be like, okay, somebody got somebody got murdered or killed. Oh, excuse me, did somebody get caught? Yeah, somebody got caught and went to jail for life. Oh wow! All right. You know what I mean? They satisfied with the answer. They can sit back and say somebody got caught. Somebody got caught. So now we everybody can sleep easy. Yeah, he went to jail. This person got caught. He went to jail, and it's over. And somebody paid for the crime. You know what I'm saying? That type of deal. But right now, it's like, yo, man, they almost could... They almost can orchestrate how you end it, bro. That's crazy. They got one peer, one person, he's famous. You see it, you see... You see no footage. You can't find footage. You got cameras everywhere. You got another person, he's nobody. They're nobody. Guess what? You got them on every block walking down the block. You go to this block and give me the video. Go to that block, give me the video. You got them up there. You mean to tell me nobody seen nothing? You say the bullets look like it came down from a down angle? That sound like some type of hit. And then if you see the kid, is oh, they saying the kid that, that caught the notorious Alpo, the notorious drug kingpin Alpo from Harlem, was somebody... Yo, he looked like a yo, bro. I ain't care. I don't judge people, but he just looked like a regular degular dude, man. He's saying Alpo hit him on a bike. He hit him, and he was still upset about it. He ran into him, ran him over. <laughs> he ran him over on a motorbike or something like that. And now he ain't forgive it. He said, all right, they probably argue or whatever. The thing to do. But homeboy was like, nah, I ain't eating that. But he came back and bust shot. That's the story. But then the shots don't add up. Yeah, it's kind of fishy. That's fishy. I'm going to leave that alone. But go do your research and see what's going on with that. Maybe you can find out something I didn't. R.I.P. the Alpo again. Now, to the all the gangsters and all the killers, when you was in prison or out here, did your girl cheat on you? Because there's a lot of YouTubers and people on YouTube talking. They be acting like. <laughs> they be acting like, yo, they be acting like, yo, they in the lovey, 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 dovey situation, bro. But let me be the bearer. The bearer of bad news. Yo, she probably cheated on me. If you are you with the same girl you you was with when you was locked up? If you are, to all of you out there, if you are, nine times out of ten, that same girl cheated on you. Numerous times. She had to get rid of the guy when she when when it was almost time for you to come home. Yeah. Those be the situations a lot of the time they get rid of him. Tell him, you know, you know, you know, you know he coming home. He crazy. He crazy. He crazy. <laughs> he got some nigga. <laughs> Like Drake, like I don't never want to meet him. <laughs> Your boyfriend, I don't never meet him. <laughs> Especially if you with him now, <laughs> you out here pumping your chest up. <laughs> oh, oh, that was hilarious, nigga. Said, yo, I don't never want to meet him. <laughs> You know, every time she tell he crazy, he crazy. <laughs> he 
YouTube is for you. <laughs> if you ain't on YouTube happy, you in the wrong sitcom, doctor. <laughs> YouTube is a sitcom, buddy. Yo, yo, he crazy, he crazy. Yeah, yeah, she know I'm crazy. She, yo, she know I'm crazy. I'm telling you, she know I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, she know, she know not to do nothing, boy. I'm telling you, boy. She know I'm crazy, boy. I'm telling you, boy. I'm telling you. <laughs> Let me tell you about. Let me tell. Let me tell you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that thing she care about if you crazy. <laughs> he crazy. He crazy. <laughs> yo, leave it with me in the comments, yo. <laughs> Yo, like, comment, and subscribe. Put on your next TV. Make sure you <laughs> make sure you leave it in the comments. Yo, yo, make sure you leave it in the comments, yo. He crazy. He crazy. <laughs> he don't care nothing about that crazy shit. <laughs> he crazy. He crazy. I'm gonna let you in the back door. Make sure you come around the club, dude. <laughs> Yo. Nah, shorty held me down, son. <laughs> she held you down. <laughs> she held you. Yo, if you think that shorty you with right now, <laughs> that held you down and did everything. Nah. Nah, you know, some gangsters like, yo, if you think she ain't do nothing, you crazy. You crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you think she ain't do You crazy. You crazy. <laughs> but what I'm telling you is, some niggas like, nah, nigga. I ain't worried about that, bro. You crazy. I ain't worried about nothing like that. I told, I told my girl to go cheat. I told her to. Nah, nigga. <laughs> like, if, <laughs> like if you didn't tell her, if you didn't give her the, oh, yo, I gave her the okay. I said, go do your thing. Go do your thing. <laughs> Like, if you didn't give her the okay, she wasn't going to do it. Nah, she probably wasn't, because you crazy. You crazy. <laughs> she probably wouldn't have did it, because you are crazy. You so crazy. <laughs> you so crazy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is hilarious right here, boy. This is great, isn't it? Yo, there's a lot of y'all. I'm talking to the gangsters. I got to do this to y'all because y'all be thinking y'all so fly. Y'all be thinking you're, 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 you be grabbing microphones like your booty don't stink so much. And I got to do it to you. I got to tell it to you, man. Cause you guys, you guys is crazy, man. There's a lot of guys, as we can see now. There's a lot of guys that that as 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 been revealed is sleeping with the enemy. There's a lot of you out there sleeping with the enemy.
You understand that? <laughs> yo. <laughs> Facts. Straight sleeping with the enemy, yo. You're... Don't. All you guys out there sleeping with the enemy, stop talking about people so much. Stop trying to point fingers at people. You got a bunch of people, fingers pointed back at you. Every time you go like this, look. One, two, three. Boom. You got three pointed at you. Every time you point your finger at somebody and say, yo, I'm telling you. You got three of them pointed at you. So remember that. You know, a lot of y'all sleeping with the enemy out there. Massive number. And it, 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 it ain't one going one way. It ain't one way. A lot of you women is sleeping with the enemy too. That nigga's a straight enemy. You a good girl. He's a straight enemy. He's not faithful to you. He doesn't love you. He actually doesn't give a shit about you. Yeah, I know that's a hard one. Sometimes you better find... I'm going to tell y'all, y'all better find somebody to listen to. Y'all better find somebody to believe. Don't write everybody off, even if it ain't me. Find somebody to believe. Because somebody's telling y'all the truth. When y'all out here thinking you know it, I'm talking to women and men. Somebody's telling you the truth. Okay? That's what I want y'all to understand. I'm thinking everybody got these alternative motives. So they come around telling you lies. Because they got alter. Sometimes people got alternative motives. And that be the reason why they're telling you the truth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Y'all better wake up. Everybody's so smart, right? All right. Everybody's so smart till it's time to play dumb. Everybody's so smart till it's till it's time to play dumb, huh? All right. All right, doctor. <clears throat> I ain't doing it. I'm taping this little money out. <clears throat> A couple of bills. I had. They need to be taped up. You know when the bill rip. It get all crazy. I had a couple of those I had to tape up. You know, they, they don't qualify to go in the stash. They can't go sit with their brothers and sisters because they ripped it. They all ripped it. Got another couple of more. Got some more. Ripped money. Ripped money. They can't, you know, they didn't qualify. They'll stick around in my pocket and grow lit. Who cares? You know? But everybody's so smart. You guys, it's too many of y'all. What I'm trying to say to y'all, it's too many of y'all out here on YouTube talking, talking greasy. Life in shambles. Okay? We don't, everything ain't about a couple of dollars. Okay? So if you thought like that was the uh, say all, be all, if you got this dirty, stinking money, that you can't take with you when you die. All that stuff you doing out here. These people better wake up. Y'all doing a lot of unnecessary stuff out here. If I get into that, it's going to be a long, long video. A lot of y'all doing a lot of stuff out here thinking you're doing something. Or thinking you're thinking, thinking you're doing. You're really thinking you're doing. You're doing nothing. Remember that? Life in shambles on YouTube talking greasy. Sleeping with the enemy. She slobbered on you 80 times. And you out here talking greasy on YouTube like you having a good day. <laughs> you <got to> <laughs> These guys is crazy, yo. I tell you. I <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> when I think about it, it makes me laugh so much, bro. These guys come on this YouTube channel like they attitude. <laughs> like everything is This is how you tape the bill. When it's ripped, you go like this. You put one piece on the tape first. So this way you ain't got to do all that. You can just go like this. Yeah, I helped you. Don't say pack ain't never help you. Don't say pack ain't never help you. Fix your money. Get your money right. Don't say pack ain't never help you. Get your money right. Yeah. I'm a money master. Anything that got anything to do with money, I'm a money master. Counting it, fixing it, is ripped up. Whatever it is, I'm a money master. Okay? Remember that. Not only am I a money master, I'm a money magnet. Facts, been that way all of my days. What do you want me to tell you? I've been that way all my days, a money magnet all my life. All facts what I'm talking about right now. Real, real, real talk. Money magnet. Always money come around to me. Finds its way to me. I don't know what it's doing, it finds its way to me. Okay, been that way all my wife, my life. I said all my wife. <laughs> I never had one of those. I never had one of those, bro. Been that way all my life. You heard? A money magnet. Okay? Hustler. Ain't never sit around and look at somebody else. Couldn't figure nothing out. Hustler. Ain't nothing, ain't never, ain't wait for just, you know, just waiting for something to happen finally. Nah, I never was that guy. Shout out to all the guys that that happened for. God came down and blessed you. Bing, bing. I've been a hustler all my life, boy. Yeah, do your homework. Must be crazy. Got me all the way messed up, Jack. Got me all the way messed up, Jack. I don't know where you guys at, Jack. But sometimes I look at some of these people on YouTube and I say, you got to let them do that. They're just starting to do something. I, I, I can look five, ten years, eight, nine years ago, they just started trying to be, do something like, let them have fun, bro. They just starting. You can't take the happiness from somebody who just starting to do something. You can't take the happiness from somebody who's just starting to do something. Let them live. Let them go on YouTube, talk crazy. Yo, I'm doing it, yo. They can't believe it. Yo, I'm right. I'm driving over here. I'm, like, I'm chilling. My I got something. When you run across people like that, let them live. These are people who've never had, or they just started. If you can go back to the beginnings of them looking crazy, and you remember them looking crazy, and and in that beginning of them looking crazy, you looking gravy, and they looking at you look gravy like, oh, you got to remember they got a, a a a gut revenge feeling inside, like, oh God, I I just want to do this to, to show some to me. Yeah, that's what they doing, bro. So let them type of people live. Let them have a little fun. Shine a little bit. I'm happy for you. Okay? You're probably on your first, second, third car. 30 cars. What are you talking about? A long run, like in the street, when people used to sell drugs, they say, yo, he had a long run. He had a short run, or he had a long run. That's what they used to say, according to how long you was in the street getting money, how long you was doing it without no problems or whatever. They, they call it a run. Yo, he had a long run, yo. Oh, he had a long run. If somebody comes around, he, he get a, a, a year or two or five years of acting like he's up but prior to that 40 years was was quiet let these people go let these people shine a little bit let them feel like yeah a little something 
you've been, if you one of the people that's like me who's been consistently living life going great, everything good, doing things, experiencing life, doing things, having, you know, experiences, bro. Don't compete against nobody who wasn't having no experiences, bro. It's been years they've been having no experiences. Whether it was in prison, whether they was with the wrong person and life got their heads squabbled up so they ain't having no life experiences on the street. Whatever it is, you have people that haven't had no experiences. Look at the people that's on YouTube. Look at the people that's coming with the most talking, the most lip japping. These are the people that had no experiences. What are you talking about? No way you can lie, play it off. Listen. These are folks that had no experiences. Let them live a little bit. Let them let them let their hair down a little bit. They've been through a lot. They've been through a lot. You know, don't always want to battle somebody who you know. You see the little the girl, you see a friend, you got a friend, you take her to the party. You know she never been to the party. When she act out and take too many drinks and wild out, forgive her. When you take her back home, forgive her. She's not used to that. You don't know about that. Let her go. Don't hold it against her. Same thing with these guys. You see these people, they don't know they're not on your level. They didn't experience the different times of, of sectors of things. They don't know. Actually, they still lost in a lot of areas, playing it off. Let them people shine, man. Let them shine, bro. That's all I can say. Yeah, man. Let people shine. Bad enough, you got people... Who, who it was quiet for in life. They was, they was with the wrong person. Had they mind cluttered, they couldn't come up in life, so they didn't get to experience things. Got people who was locked up in prison, didn't get to experience things, right? Let these people live. Let these people live, man. It was quiet. Let them have their time. I remember I was in a relationship with, with a female. I was getting so much money. I couldn't make no good decisions. Because I was with the wrong person. You clearly see this is a tobacco, tobacco road cigarette. Good. But uh, let them let, I couldn't make no good decisions. I was messed up. It was messed up, yo. You know what I'm saying? But I had to change that once I start I start seeing the light. Yo, I'ma tell you like this. You get with the right people, you get the wrong people out your life, get with the right people, everything start happening for you instantly. Overnight. You be like, what the you be like, what happened? You be like, what happened? How did everything switch? It's because you switch energies. You switch energies, you switch people, you switch everything. And when you switch that, you switch the reality. You switch life. You switch the way things work for you. If anybody know what I'm talking about, if you experienced that, if you was around one set of things and you took yourself away from it, and, put your, and I don't mean, I know y'all be, a lot of y'all know my life. A lot of y'all know Pac. A lot of y'all know my situation and, 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 and things in the industry. Some of my relationships and stuff like that. But I'm not talking about my relationships. 
I don't, I don't want y'all to be thinking I'm always getting on YouTube talking about in a roundabout way my relationships. No. I'm talking about the world, bro. I'm talking about the world, bro. I'm talking to the, to the millions of people that been through similar situations, bro. That I don't even know, bro. Yeah, that I don't even know. But I don't want nobody thinking that. I'm talking I, millions of people that I don't even know, never met, never seen them before in my life. All right, so you know I'm not. They know when they hear it, they're like, "Yo, I don't know that guy. He's just talking that junk. He's talking that talk, and I don't know him. He's talking something that's similar to me, and I don't know him from a whole on. Never seen him before a day in my life. Right. There you go. You got people out here. It, they it been quiet for them. They ain't get to live nothing, or they was with the wrong person and get and ain't get to live nothing. Then on top of all that, I'm gonna tell you some real stuff in a minute. And on top of all that, they sleeping with the enemy right now. They have a day in another relationship. Or that might be the same relationship. But they're in another relationship. And that relationship is an enemy. It's a down low, bad relationship. You got to do a survey with yourself. You know whether or not you're in a bad relationship on the real or real. You can play it off and pretend you can hold hands in the event. You go to the party. You do everything to show people that. It was one way. All you want when it's you two alone, y'all know the vibes. And a lot of these people's in bad situations, sleeping with the enemy. The enemy, they know your work schedule. They know where you're going, how you're going, how you're moving. A lot of y'all is getting cheated on right now. And it's not the fact if whether or not you're getting cheated on. The fact is the important part matters if you care. Because if you don't mind, right. If you don't mind, right. It don't matter. But if you mind, if you mind, or nothing matters if you don't mind. Somebody could be doing something to, with, with somebody you know or anything. I'm just saying this for example. Anybody in the world. If you don't care, it's a good thing to have in your heart, in your life, and part of your, uh, your arsenal. Not caring. If you don't care, if you don't mind, it don't matter. And that's with anything in your life. Somebody come up to you with a million dollars cash. Yeah, this is yours. You be like, oh my God, thank you. And then they turn around and say, you know what? I'm going to see you later with it. I'll be back. <coughs> Two things. You can either care, go crazy, or you don't care. I don't need a million dollars. Take your million dollars. Take your billion dollars. Remember, if you don't mind, it don't matter. Don't never let nobody uh, make something mine, make you mine or something. Don't make don't let nobody make you care about something or tell you you care about something. Nah, you care, nigga, you care. No, if you don't mind, it don't matter. That's just the way it is, doctor. Okay? So, uh, a lot of these people is, is they, they got two things against them. They ain't been, uh, they've been, they've been quiet or left out. Whatever you want to call it. And then on top of that, they in bad situations now. Did you know hurt people hurt people? Let's take a scenario. Uh, you got somebody's in a relationship. 
First of all, I want to let y'all know, YouTube is therapy for a lot of these people. They come up here and talk. Yeah, they trying to get to the bag and get money and all that. But on the flip side, this is their everything. If they're not an artist, they don't write music. They're not a producer. They don't produce tracks. So we have us, us artists, us celebrities, us rap artists, us, us well-known, talented people, special people. We have uh, we have this thing where that is our outlet. That is our therapy. That is our form of letting go, creating our music, producing. If you're a producer like me, you can produce beats, fire beats. If you're a rapper, you can write raps, fire raps. You see what I'm saying? You could do all that, but if you don't, if you can't do none of that, your outlet, a lot of these people's outlet is YouTube. Come in and talk to the people. Come in and make your people feel good. You know, this is how they get off. You know what I'm saying? But what I want to tell y'all is, did you know, hurt people hurt people? Let's go back to the scenario. You got a, a two people in a couple. Things is not good. On the outside, it looks good. But anybody comes around, they make it look good. They, they straighten up. A lot, of, a lot of couples do that these days. They straighten up real quick. On the outside, it looks good. But you see people on the train. They hold hands. You see people on the street, they hold hands. They kiss. As soon as you get in the house, he slap the face. Listen, but this is what's going on out here, y'all. Be careful. You see it. Y'all see what's going on? I ain't got to say it. You see it. It's bad. You got a couple. Things are not good. This is the scenario. Tell me if it fits you, if anything is in there that connects, that resonates. All right? You got a bad, you're in a bad situation, a bad relationship. Things are not good. You're not getting along, really. You're really not in love. You're not head over heels. You're not floating in cloud nine when it's time to go home. When you run around in the street and do all this whatever, here, there, when it's time to go home, it's the moment you start, you're not as happy no more. If you get sad when it's time to go home, or if you go in another mode, let me let me tell you, let me, let me put it like that. If you flip and you switch into another mode when it's time to go home, you in a bad relationship. When it's time to go home, if you're not there, after all I did in the day, that was a great day. Now I'm going home. The grand finale is now I'm going home, nigga. Man, that's the grand finale. Man, if that ain't the grand finale for you, you're in a bad relationship. You've been cheated on. You know why you've been cheated on? Because you've been cheating. You've been cheating, you, so you've been, you got payback. You know, right? You've probably been cheated on before. In a lot of situations, I ain't gonna go into those scenarios, but we all know them, right? Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not happy. This is how you know when people is not happy in a relationship. You see them in the street, they look at every butt, they looking at shorties, they trying to bag shorty, they trying to bag them, they doing this. Those are clear cut signs that you're not happy at home. Where's this video at? 39. 39 minutes. The clear cut signs that you're lying in your relationship. That's the caption. Clear cut signs. We all know them all. Hey, girls, you out with your girls and y'all out and about, y'all going, eating, restaurant, hanging out, clubs, doing whatever you do. First of all, that's a signal right there because a lot of them ain't around. They, they don't even want to be in the in the room with the girls going out and all that. They, they home they ain't doing something different. That's one sign right there that you're there. But okay, we're going to, we, we let that one ride because everybody needs a break. Everybody needs to go down. You're still living your life. You still got to do things and all that. Like, what the hell? We still got to live life. What is he talking about? Okay, we give you that one right there. Boom.
But now, girls, you're out. You're out with your girls. You go out every week. Or whenever you go out, you do your stuff. You're running around with the chick. Guess what? All the girl, maybe all of you is doing it. Maybe all of you is doing it. You got a little click of the same feather that flock together. A little hawk. Look, whatever. You're out. You see, you'd be chilling. Y'all just be, or sometimes it's not like that. You got two of y'all, three of y'all that's always just enjoying the time with their girlfriends. You got the other three, they always looking at some nigga. You always watching some guy. You always doing this. You always doing some guy talking. To, you always in, you always standing up. Some guy trying to get your number. You saying a couple of words. You supposed to be turning them down, but you're in the conversation. You know you're supposed to be turning them down, but you're always standing up in the conversation. Like yeah, he's standing there talking to you. You're talking, but you're turning them down. Girls, if you see your girlfriends out there with all this type of behavior, a guy passed. They like this on the low. They always got a comment. For, they don't miss a beat do your girl miss a beat i don't mean to switch lanes real quick do your little chicken head miss a beat or it, do you got one that don't miss a beat any person any human being any guy she misses nothing like always the same time so coincidental i'm grabbing my hair and turning this way to look at this guy do what what type of girl do you got man i would love to analyze your bitch i would love to analyze I analyze a lot of them yeah some of them played off good too some of them they got some of them, some of them got some professional ones ooh, ooh, ooh. you got if you got a professional one you finish nigga <laughs> If you got a professional one, you finish. You ain't never gonna know nothing, nigga. Trust me, she's so professional. <laughs> Every gesture, you are finished. Facts. Okay, you got. Well, do you have one that miss a beat? Do she miss a beat? Oh, she sees. She catches everything. Nope. A squirrel can't. A, a a rat. A a a, a mouse. A cat can't nothing can't move she's seen it you got one of those you know what i'm talking about yeah you got one of those if you got one of those it's over it's over Somebody's got, so you got the girl that's always turning the guy down, but still talking. Listen, girls, those are the ones, bottom line, those are the ones that you know is in horrible relationships. They're not happy. Happy people don't behave like that. There's no way in the world you can tell me you're happy with any of them bitches. You're happy. You can say I'm lying now. You can say I'm lying again to that. You're not happy. And they know. This is what I'm trying to tell you, girls. So, you sometimes, girls, you don't got to ask your girlfriend, how's the relationship? Uh, is he treating you good? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Sometimes you do because sometimes, once in a blue moon, you got a, they got a man that's treating them right. They're just a little fast-ass, hot in the pants. So, you know, it depends what type of chick you got. Yeah. He's sitting up here front, man. Nah, doctor. I'm the great predictor. I'll tell you what's going to happen. If I see... Boy. Boy. Boy, 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 boy. Yeah. So, you got to remember. Some of these people is finished already, so don't fall for it, man. Don't fall for the nonsense, man. These people's not happy. So, like I'm telling you, man, they're not happy. So, you got a lot of people on social media. All this stuff going on, a lot of it. I'm going to just keep it real for you. 
A lot of it is simply because their home life ain't right. And ain't about the YouTube chat. This is how they vent on somebody else for being unhappy. I'm going to get on YouTube and talk so crazy tonight because inside they're not happy at home. They're not happy at home. And that's the bottom line. The worst thing in the world Yo, it ain't about no money. It ain't about nothing, man. I really want y'all to feel this, man. Like, comment, subscribe, foot on your neck TV, yo. It's about if you happy. If you feel good. If you happy. That's it. Make yourself happy by making your situations the way you like them. Make yourself, you make yourself happy by making your situations in your life the way you like them. And you're going to be happy. Get everybody out your life that you know don't deserve to be there. And even though it might hurt sometimes for certain people, you're going to be happy. Yeah, you're going to be happy. Don't be living no fake life unhappy. You got all these unhappy situations, so now you come to YouTube and your whole thing is let's get it popping, yo. Because really, it ain't nothing about nobody and nobody else that you don't know that you ain't in their life. It ain't that serious. You ain't in their life. huh? You ain't in their life like that to care that much. Yeah, you're not in their life like that to care that much. It's impossible for you to care that much if you're not in their life like that. So that tells me that's just another way of venting on something else that's going wrong in your life. That's all it is. So get out of here. <laughs> now get out of here. And remember one thing. If I love you, don't take it lightly. <laughs>